All right, so to recap, what we have is the power supply in, the motherboard, the RAM, this case fan, the DVD drive, and the hard drive. There's only three more things to install. The processor, the graphics card, and the water cooling system. Once that's all done, what we're going to do is we're going to attach everything and attach all the cords. Uh, the next thing is going to be the graphics card. We're going to install the graphics card and this motherboard has four PCI slots uh, in it. The first slot, which is this one here, the red one, since I'm only running one card, that's the one that's recommended uh, to be used for this. If I was using Crossfire, I'd go with the bottom two. So the first thing we're going to need to do is remove these two expansion slot covers because the card um, is going to use two of them. So we're just going to unscrew this here. And try not to drop the screw in there. There we go. First mesh. Pull it out. And I'll keep that in a box somewhere so I have all my pieces together. Second one, remove the screw and second mesh. All right, now I'm just going to make sure I'm grounded again before I touch these components. All right, now we have the card, our graphics card. It has a couple of uh, covers on, on the slots. So we're going to remove that. There we go. So we can actually plug this in. What we ended up doing since the uh, graphics card is mounted in the first uh, PCI Express card slot and it conflicts with the hard drive. So what we did is, or what I did, is I just moved the hard drive from this port or this bay to this bay down here. So it took two seconds, not a big deal, not a deal breaker, just another little setback. So next thing we're going to do is put this back in here and it should be no problem. All you have to do is line up your slot in the back here and everything should fall into place. So, okay, everything's lined up and you're just going to push it in until it snaps into place nice and snug. And then we're going to mount it in with the screws to make sure that it's all in tight the way it should be. screw in and let's get the second one in. Now this does take up two expansion base slots but it's not a big deal. I have, uh, what do I have? I've got seven slots back here, most of which I'm not going to use anyway. So there we go, mounted in real nice and what we will have to do is run the cords in on the front, but we'll do that. We'll do that in a minute. The next thing I'd like to do is I'm going to put the processor in. Okay. 